How to apply at the Vale University of Technology, known as the VUT. 2022 online applications are now open to study at the Vale University. If you know someone who wants to study there, or you have a relative, or you are the one who wants to study there, please watch this video because it is going to guide you how to apply at this university. This university consists of four faculties, which is the Applied and Computer Sciences, Engineering and Technology, uh, Humanities, uh, also Management Sciences. So you can notice that actually this university, it has been made for people who are doing engineering, also science. As you can see something, it will be everything related to science and everything related to engineering. This is one of the largest residential universities of technologies in South Africa. Uh, which attracts students all over uh, the country. As we speak now, it consists of about 25,000 students and over 300 programs. Please note that applications at this university will close uh, 31st of October 2021. So make sure that you submit your application before this date. All uh, students, they are required to apply online. Hello everyone, Mangoba here who is all about helping each and everyone to revive their ambitions and reinforce their dreams. Many universities they have opened and some they are starting to close. Some will be closing very soon, some end of uh, July, some uh, end of August, some end of September. Soon they will be closing, some they will be opening. So if you know anyone wants to apply at any university, please contact me. Many of those people who have contacted me, they know that the one question that I'll ask you is, where are you struggling with the process? So make sure that before you send me an inquiry, you have tried the option, unless you are lacking data or you have uh, network connectivity issues. Uh, yeah, we can talk. Please make sure that before you apply at this university, make sure that you, take, you check the minimum requirements uh, offered by this university per faculty. Make sure that you download the prospectus. You can download the prospectus or view the program here. Uh, per faculty, you click view here and check the minimum requirements before you do the online uh, applications to avoid being rejected and everything. And also to save time, especially when you want to apply and you do not know which course to apply. Just make sure that you check the prospectus before you can apply online. Please note that application for South African, it is 100 Rand. Then also for late uh, applications, you have to pay 140. Also to rewrite, these are the important application fee. But uh, then international student, please note that you need to pay 110 Rand for your application fee. So to apply, it is simple. Just go to any internet browser that you're using. Then search for the uh, VUT website, www.vut.ac.za. Then once we are here, click where it says applications now open for 2022. As you can see, when you pull, when you when you point here, the this link is being activated. So you click here. Then you scroll down and come and click where it says apply now here. You click here. Then after that, if you are a returning student, make sure that you enter a student number here. You also enter your PIN. You log in. If you have forgotten your PIN. Uh, just click here. You can also, if even if you have forgotten a student number, if you click forgot pin when they send the pin, they will also send with your student number. So you can click here. Or if you're a new student, just click where it says new application. You click here. As I've said, please note that you will need to pay uh, the non refundable application fee, which is 100 Rand. You also need to upload your certified copies of your ID copy of passport documents, senior certificate, um, proof of payment. All of the application fee, they are payable at the APSA bank account. This is the bank account of the uh, of the university, the branch code. Uh, then in reference column, uh, they, you are required to fill in your, ID, your identity number, which is your ID number. And be, do not use the account number uh, for any uh, other payments. It is just for uh, the admission fee. So I would suggest that if you pay later, please use your student number as your reference. But if you pay before, you can use your ID or you can use your ID, it does not matter. Then once you are here, if you are asked, do you already have a student number? So you click no. Then are you returning to complete the application? No, will indicate. Then you read this uh, popular information, all the declaration, 
copy action and uh, if you agree then after that you click accept then you click next then we come to the page where you have to enter your biographical information so let's enter our biographical information you are a South African will indicate then you enter your ID number if you say it now you will enter your passport number or, or number that will be asked to enter then let's enter our, our biographical information So once you are done, please confirm your information if it is correct because once you jump this step, you cannot change your information, especially when you submit your application. So make sure that everything it is correct before you submit. Then you come to the part where you have to enter your street uh, addresses and uh, everything. So you enter your street addresses. You make sure that you enter street number, your street name, and then your suburb. These the two important things. Then you come and enter your postal code. You can enter this your town, uh, also your province if you want to. Then you come here to search for your postal code. You can use your uh, you can use your suburb to search, or you can use your your postal code to search. Anything that works better for you. If your postal address is different from your street address, just click here. This uh, space will pop up. Where you have to enter your postal address differently but now we leave it here then after that confirm that your number it is correct then you enter your email address you verify it do you want to apply for residence you click yes because i always advise that all applicants should click yes here whether you are returning or seniors what unless you are you are financially stable but just click this, it will save you a lot. Then do you have any disability? You will indicate if you do, then you click next. We come to the part where you have to enter your next of kin information. This is, this information, it is important just in case of emergencies, there is something they can find at home. So you enter the information of that person. Then you come, you enter their addresses if you're staying together then you if they are not you are not staying with them you enter their addresses street number street name a uh, town uh, this is not commercial but you can enter it then you enter the postal code you can search with whatsoever that works better for you uh, then you enter it you enter their email address here make sure that it is uh, correct they have the correct email address Let's keep correcting these mistakes. Then after that, uh, we come to the account details information. Please enter the information of the person responsible for any payment made to the university. This can be yourself. This, as they can say, this can be yourself or other other party. So, for example, if you are even if you are still going to apply for bursaries or NSFAS, just enter yourself here or the next of kin information this one so you can copy and paste this one or you can enter information so most of the in most of the cases i prefer to enter my information then after that i enter my addresses here and then i confirm with the postal code uh, if it is correct then you make sure that your email address is correct you enter it here and then if everything it is correct uh, just like this we fix this we check if everything is correct um what's wrong with this now okay let's try to submit we click submit okay then it comes to this part where you have to enter your result details uh, when did you complete, complete metric? If you are still going to complete metric, you will erase this and write the year that you are completing your metric. Are you upgrading or are you applying for undergraduate or postgraduate? You will indicate if you are applying for undergraduate or postgraduate. For now, let's do for undergraduate. Uh, if it takes time, just click this and, and leave it again. Then are you upgrading? Uh, then click no. If you are not, if you are, if you are upgrading, you click yes. 
then you enter your school leaving result the latest result if you have not completed your metric there will be an option to enter your result here please uh, enter the, the result accordingly then after that uh, on when entering the result make sure that you enter the sim the percentage the symbol the subject i think these are the important things that they will require there if they say school living certificate uh, school living subject they mean your subject that you did as you can see school living subject maybe the percentage also the symbol this is the important part then if everything is correct here if you have made a mistake you can click here to delete your result but if they are coming from this one you cannot delete because the system just captured or just retrieved them from the department of education so just click next here uh, then we come to the part where you have to enter the school details where you have attended the last uh, school name that you attended at Then you indicate your current activity. What are you currently doing? You will indicate if we are still doing metric You will also indicate then let's say you're a university student you will indicate that then have you studied at another university you will indicate if you did if you didn't you will just click no then this will be active so for you to continue press just click yes for this one um okay then you uh, let me leave it at no now and then let's click next and then we we'll come to the part where you have to enter your academic application so you first select for 2022 then you click here to select the faculty hopefully before you attempt the application you just checked what you want to study uh, and uh, you know where to find at which faculty then you select your faculty then you choose your program what you would like to uh, study and then you select the period for which year are you uh, are you applying for uh, then obvious we are the first year student we just click the available option then this information will come up for you um so you will be studying this full time at the van der uh, whatsoever park uh, sorry i cannot pronounce this and uh, then uh, you'll be doing semester one you are allowed to apply for only two uh, choices or two qualifications so then after that after entering your information if you are certified you are satisfied with it you just click add qualification then you verify everything if you are still not certified with it you can click remove here please do not ignore this information that they will write here do you see here it says eligible to apply it says yes here if you can just choose a bigger course or bigger qualification where you do not qualify at here it will say no if it says no just click remove uh, here to remove then you click ok then it will be removed to add a new data information for you then if you are satisfied with your options just click next then we come to this part where you have to verify your information this or graph your biographical information you first verify if everything it is correct before you submit the application then after that we come to the part uh, where we have to verify our school result uh, our our school that we last attended then um the qualification that you have chosen so you can always change this on top and this trailer here you can change here if you want to change so and then after that you click continue here then we come to this part where you have to create your pin make sure that you create your pin that you will not forget then after that you read these rules if you want to uh, not if you want to you must read it you must also agree you must know what you are agreeing to i agree you read all of this thing then after that you click accept if this is not activated just deselect this and also select it then this option will be activated then you click submit uh, application so to know exactly what document they require from you or from your application when you are asked do you already have a certificate to upload just click yes here so you just click yes then click next and then um for your selection you will see that here they will 
especially for this one they need what the admin fee uh, proof of payment you must upload it here also your it copy you must upload it here also your matriculation certificate you must upload it here so to upload your document you just click load of view then you click uh, where it says upload then you choose your file then go to where you have saved your files then you select it then you click save then you click close here as you can see this is your file you have uh, uploaded a file it will come here as the name here so you can click here to view it and to make sure that also the university can view it please just test if you can view your file here because some of you you upload uh, documents that has does that has passwords and also pins and they are locked and if the university cannot open it here that means if you cannot open your document here that means also the university cannot open it if you want to save this document you can click here to save the document to your pc as you can see then uh, if you are set you can upload another document here let's say you have uploaded the wrong document you want to delete this one you cannot delete it but you just click upload to choose the correct file then after that you can close this patch as you have uploaded the document this here it will change as you can see uploaded via the web it will say yes if you didn't it will say if it will just say no then after that if you have uploaded all of your document you just complete you click complete uh, upload then just like that your application has been received uh, or has been captured for further processing please use your student number or id or passport for any reference as when communicating with the university so make sure that you do not lose your student number so that's why even if you are going to make the payment i advise you that you can use your student number so just like that ladies and gentlemen you have applied at the valley university of technology do you have any questions is there where we are struggling do you know someone uh, who need assistance with the application please do not hesitate to contact me my contact details are on the description of this video below ladies and gentlemen good luck with your applications and take care of yourselves